This is brought to you by the Electronic Church of God, Arizona. Thank you. Welcome, brethren. Welcome to the Lord's Care Ministry. The Lord's Care Ministry, when you're with the Lord, day 281. Jesus explains why he must die. John, chapter 12, 26 through 36. If these Greeks want to be my disciples, tell them to come and follow me, for my servants must be where I am. If they follow me, the Father will honor them. Now my soul is deeply troubled. Shall I pray? Father, save me from what lies ahead. But that is the very reason why I came. Father, bring glory and honor to your name. Then a voice from heaven said, I have already done this, and I will do it again. When the crowd heard the voice, some of them thought it was thunder, while others declared an angel had spoke to him. Then Jesus told them, The voice was for your benefit, not mine. The time for judgment for the world has come, and the time when Satan, the prince of this world, shall be cast out, and when I am lifted up on the stake, I will draw everyone to me. He said this to indicate how he was going to die. Die, asked the crowd. We understood that the Messiah would live forever and never die. Why are you saying he will die? What Messiah are you talking about, Jesus replied. My light will shine for you just a little while longer. Walk in it while you can, and go where you want to go before the darkness falls, and then it will be too late for you to find your way. Make use of the light while there's still time then you will become light bearers. After saying these things, Jesus went away and was hidden from them. The ruler of this world is Satan, an angel who rebelled against God. Satan is real, not symbolic, and it is constantly working against God and those who obey him. Satan has great power. But people can be delivered from his reign of spirits or darkness because of Christ's victory on the cross. Satan is powerful, but Jesus is much more powerful. Whom do you seek? The crowd could not believe that Jesus was saying about the Messiah. They were waving palm branches for a victorious leader who would come and set up a political earthly kingdom that would never end. From their reading of certain scriptures, they thought the Messiah would never die. Psalms chapter 89 verses 35 through 36. Chapter 110 verse 4. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 7. Other passages, however, showed that he would. Isaiah 53 verses 5 and 9. Jesus' words did not mesh with the crowd's concept of the Messiah. First he had to suffer and die. Then he would one day set up the Father's internal kingdom. What kind of a Messiah or Savior are you seeking? Before of trying to force Jesus into your own mold, he, he would not fit. Fear God. Keep his commandments. His. A Philippian pilgrim. A workman for God. A friend of Christ. And brethren, if you do not believe that Christ is alive, 
and that he will come and set up his kingdom here on earth. Then get down on your knees and repent. Ask God for forgiveness. Well, brother, we'll call that an end for today. I am now back from the Feast of Tabernacles, and we had a great time. So with that, God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. If you would like to donate to this ministry, please mail to COGA 13131 West Tucky Lane, Glendale, Arizona 85307. This would be very much appreciated in keeping this ministry going. Thank you. Produced for you by Forrest Grote. Thank you.